So are you. You don't think I'd be so daft as to believe that? I think you're beautiful. Mm. <laughs> ah. It was uh, very nice of your mother to let you come and spend Christmas with us, Maggie. Ah, well, we tend to make more of New Year in our ah. house. You won't be going up to the Glen, then, for New Year? No, worse luck. James, pass me that ah. fork. Oh. Uh, I had to choose either my mum or my grand for Hogmanay. It had to be, Mum. Uh -huh. I'm sure your granny will understand. Yeah. James, do you have to do that? <laughs> Give Maggie a cup of coffee and a mince pie. She's probably so starving. Oh, I wouldn't doubt that. Mm -hmm. There. Now, how does that look? Fantastic. Thank you. Go and sit down. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I still can't get used to the fact that Katrina doesn't live here anymore. Yes, do we miss her? Oh, she'll be here tomorrow, mm -hmm. then. Oh, that's good. There you are, madam. Oh, thank you. And a mince pie to keep your strength up. Oh, they look good. Mm. Mmm, yeah. I think I'll have one of those myself. Mmm, delicious, Elizabeth. Good. Hello, Maggie. Oh, hello, Mr. Fraser. How nice to see you again. Oh, you too. Mince pie, Father. I can recommend them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'd love one. And how's the family? Oh, I've got a couple of hours to spare. <laughs> <laughs> what about the business? Oh, one minute we think we're going to be millionaires. Mm. The next minute we get ready to apply for supplementary benefit. We're on the benefit tack at the moment. Not so good. Oh, well. That's possibly just seasonal drop-off. Well, let's hope so. Well, that reminds me, Peter. Did you telephone about the new sink in the cloakroom? Oh, not on Christmas Eve, Elizabeth. It can wait. It has done for the last 50 years. <laughs> if things were left to you... I know, I know. We'd all be sitting in a heap of rubble. <laughs> Why don't you sit down for five minutes, Elizabeth? Mm. Mm. And have one of your mince pies before we eat them all. <laughs> yes, I think I will. And what about a little glass of sherry to go with it? Good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, Maggie, how's your work going? Oh, I've left school. I'm about to become a breadwinner. Can I come in? Is that a question? No. I wish your mother doesn't hear you. She won't. They're downstairs. Thought you might be lonely. That was nice of you. Thought you might tell me you like being lonely. Depends on the occasion. What about this one? Oh, it's quite nice to have some company on Christmas Eve. For a wee while anyway. What do you mean, for a wee while? Well, you just better not stay too long, in case your mother gets suspicious. She's always suspicious. I should have brought some mistletoe with me. You've never let that stop you before. No, I haven't, have I? <laughs> Betty, I was glad you'd come to spend Christmas with us. Well, you did mention something about it. Where on earth can he be? He's not in his room. What about the bathroom? He's not. I looked. The uh, clock room, then? I doubt it. Peter, you'll have to speak to him. We can't have another... Are you looking for me? Oh, yes, James. I was just wondering if you'd put all your presents round the tree. Oh, happy Christmas! Nice. Oh, happy Christmas, Maggie. Oh, happy Christmas, Katrina. Hey, you're looking great. So are you. Oh, <laughs> happy Christmas, Alexander. Oh, it's good to you, Maggie. How's the back? Kiss oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Christmas. So many presents. Is that the lot, James? Yes, that's it. Well, uh, I'll play Father Christmas then, shall I? Yes. 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 Elizabeth. Oh, oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lovely colour. Thanks very much, Mrs. Fraser. And Mr. Fraser. Oh, Glad you like it, dear. Oh, I do very much. Well, that's it then, is it? Oh, Maggie's still got a little present to open. Oh, oh I've done very well already. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Thank you. Come on then, Maggie. Come on. Up. Let's have a look. Not very large, is it? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Could be a button, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Oh. We're all dying of curiosity. <laughs> Ring? Oh, I couldn't afford a precious stone. Well, hurry up and try it on then, Maggie. It's a garnet. Do you like it then? Oh, it's very nice, James. You could put your arm round me. Well, look at them. We could have been married for 50 years. Seems more like 40. Joke, joke. Okay, I'll put my arm round you if you want me to. If I want you to? Don't you want to? Sure, it's just that I feel kind of awkward walking with my arm round somebody. I'm not just somebody. You're so romantic, Alexander. I know I'm a disappointment to you. No, you're not. Honestly. Honestly. You know what we were talking about last night? Not this morning, Katrina. Let's not spoil Christmas dinner, eh? I don't want to go through all that again. Well, I kept dropping stitches and Jean had to do the pattern, but it's, it's... a miracle. Oh, that's what I said when I finished it. <laughs> How does it feel to be a genius? Oh, I could recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess your finger sized pretty well, didn't I? Yeah, bang on. You could always wear it on your other hand. When we're on our own. If you want to, that is. Look, I think it looks fine, but it is. Oh, I see, Maggie. That purple is very fetchy. Here, here. Listen to this. What did the needle say to the thread? Uh, Why don't we get together sometime? Oh, oh, well. Not bad, not bad. I've got my eye on you. Oh. <laughs> Those jokes are really pathetic. <laughs> I'll see to the fire. Oh, Have some more pudding, Maggie. Oh, no, I couldn't, Mrs. Fraser. It was absolutely delicious. I'm full, though. <laughs> Anyone like a chocolate? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> wood chocolate, indeed. Oh, I love the smell of wood smoke. Yes, we brought the wood down from the glen. Oh, I wish it was gone up there. Yes, we'll miss you there. I'll leave this for a minute, Mother. I hope you will be later. I just need to clear them to the side. I thought we might all have a game of Scrabble. On Christmas Day. Why don't we go next door and sit in front of the fire? Yes. Good idea. Much yeah. Come on, then. Where are the chocolates, James? Anything else, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'll do a little crochet. Oh, oh. Yes, good. <laughs> Why don't we play some Christmas carols on the record player? Yeah, it's just a pity we couldn't have a good sing-song around the piano. Yes, if only you hadn't given up your lessons, Katrina. I don't know why you didn't persevere. Uh, yes. Alexander will play. Oh. Oh. Alexander, can you? Well, only by ear. Oh, he's fantastic. Come on, Alexander. Oh, no, I haven't played for ages. Oh, oh, come, come on, on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Better give in. Oh, all right, then. Hey! <laughs> I warn you, Alexander, that piano hasn't been tuned for ages. I don't mind. Oh, 
By popular request, we bring you the well-known Mr. Alexander Smith. Hey! Oh, I've been there. Um, I don't know. 12 Days of Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't know that one. On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love said to me, two gentle loves and a partridge in a pear tree. That one goes on for ages. Let's, let's have another one. Um, Reminds me of the old days, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you've got a good voice. Come and join us. Yes, come on, Mother. Come on. Come on, Father. Hey, what was your light then? Oh, well, uh, can you play the Holly and the Ivy? He can play anything. Just call me Oscar. <laughs> The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. The rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a blossom as sweet as a lily flower. And merry for sweet Jesus Christ to be a sweet saviour. Oh, it's been a great day. I've eaten far too much. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> hey, your mum and Alexander seem to be getting on better. Do you think so? Well, a bit anyway. How are you getting on with them? I don't really know. Sometimes I think everything's wonderful. And the next minute I want to run away. Well, it's bound to take a while to get used to living with someone else. Mm. We've lived so differently in so many ways. You'd find that too, I'm sure, with James. Ah, well, I've no intention of finding that out. At least not for a long time. No? No. <sighs> that must be the lot by now, surely. Yes, just as well Christmas comes but once a year. <laughs> uh, James. Yes? Uh, Christmas might not be the best time to have a talk. What about? about you and Maggie. I, uh, I feel I have to say something to you about it. Suppose you're concerned about my future. Well, yes. I'm not going to get married next week, even if Maggie and I were to get engaged. So you are thinking of it? I don't see why I shouldn't. I am 19 now. Yes, but you've got a long way to go, James. I know all that, but others have got married while they're still students. Yes, but if Maggie were to have a baby, so that's what's worrying you and Mother. That was a really good dinner, Mrs. Fraser. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Alexander. Oh, I did very much. Good. Oh, how are your parents? Oh, not too bad. My mother's been a lot better since she had a gallbladder taken out. Oh, that's good. Katrina's taking her time. Oh, she's probably blaring to Maggie. When those two get together, that's I'll give her a shout. Here. What? It would be far better if you did Katrina. wait. I'd better go. But I don't understand why you want to start another baby straight away. Don't you want a breathing space? Well, the doctor said it would be best. Well, I can understand Alexander wanting to wait. I've got to think of him too. I'd have to support the pair of you. Katrina! All right. Coming, Mother! <laughs> That's one good thing about being married. You don't have to shut that back ten times a day. You will come round tomorrow, won't you? You and James. Yeah. Welcome to your humble abode. That humble Alexander. I'm just trying to make a joke. Hey, it's really nice. I'd be delighted to have a place like this. Yeah, so would I. Oh, here I must get a shot at your sag bank. Oh, mind you, I'll probably never get it, but McKinley sings from sight. You could always stay the night. I will, I might need to. Yeah. I'll go and get the coffee. I've got everything ready. Great. We're going to decorate the bathroom after the new year. Ah, so how are you enjoying homemaking then? Oh, it's not bad. It's great to have a place of your own. Mm. For goodness sake, do you know we've just had lunch? I'm sure you can manage some coffee and cakes. Do you make it yourself? Yes. Yeah, you better do now, Jean, yeah. <laughs> I can't get over her wanting to be a carpenter. Good for her, I see. Mm. Well, but you, Katrina, you're going to go back to hairdressing? 
I don't think so. It's not much good, am I, Alexander? Well, you never give yourself a chance to find out. All I got to do was shampoo and sweep up. Ah, uh, we all have to come up the hard way. Look who's talking. I've got years ahead of me. Five years at university, one as a houseman, working 80 hours a week before I become a registered doctor. But you've always wanted to be a doctor. I thought you always wanted to be a hairdresser. Cake's good, Katrina. Why are all the cherries sitting at the bottom? Well, they're not meant to. I couldn't help it. I'm just learning. I was only asking. You should train for something else, Katrina. Such as? Dental receptionist. Ooh, I couldn't stand watching people having their teeth drilled. Oh, I just came to mind because I need to go to the dentist myself. Well, what about working in a cat and dog home? You've always been fond of animals. The ideas you get, Maggie. Her head's full of them. <laughs> mm. What are you going to do yourself? Work in a book binding factory. Really? Yeah, I start after the new year. What are you looking so surprised for? Can't you imagine me binding books? Well, I don't suppose I'll get to bind any. At least not straight away. But a factory. Think of the noise. Could you stand that? I couldn't bear it. I'll get used to it just like everybody else. It won't be forever. Anyway, I like books. You won't get much chance to read. Ah, they might give me the rejects. I think he's right, though, Katrina. You should do something. Oh, I knew you'd think that. Wild, isn't it? Yeah. It's just like the tropics. Oh, we must go to the tropics together sometime. Ah, you're on. It's a date. Is it? Yeah, you free the weekend after next. Are you ever serious? All the time. Why don't we go away somewhere together at Easter? Up the Amazon in pursuit of Colonel Fawcett. Your grandmother at the no, father not up the Amazon. A friend of mine's got a cottage in Sky. Speed, body, board, like a bird. Maggie, don't be so infuriating. I was suggesting something quite serious. Because I know you were. What do you say, then? I need to think about it. I thought you might. How about going for a walk? Well, I suppose so. Katrina, I've been thinking about what Maggie was saying. About working, you mean? Well, we could use the money. Don't you think I paid my share towards this marriage? My grandfather did put down the deposit on the flat for us. I'm well aware of that. Sure, you remind me every other day. I can't help it if my family hasn't got the money to do likewise. I'm not asking them to. I'm just saying that I don't see why I should have to work if I don't want to. Anyway, it hardly seems worthwhile if I'm going to be having another baby. But you're not, are you? Not yet. And you know I think we should leave it for a year or two until we got on our feet. Oh, so you don't care what I want at all? Everything's got to suit you? That's not true. You've got to give and take a marriage. What a profound thought. Don't talk like that. I'll talk whatever way I want. You know your trouble. You spoiled rotten. Oh, that'll be heaps. We're only five. Okay. Katrina, I've left him. What? I hate him. Oh, oh darling, oh. shh. No, no, shh. On the table. Oh. There, there. Shh. Don't cry. <laughs> Setting the table is a nice, peaceable occupation. Oh. Hello, Alexander. Is Katrina here? She's downstairs in the kitchen with her mother. Oh, no doubt, telling her what a beast I am. I should get part one of those monster movies. I could, wouldn't be fair. Competition would be too much for the others. <laughs> Should I go down, do you think? Well, you'll have to, won't you? I suppose so. Best to get it over with. Don't look so worried. There's no fleas in Mrs Fraser. She doesn't believe all she hears. OK. See you later, eh? OK. Hello, Alexander. Hello there. <clears throat> ah, it's uh, nice and quiet in here. You need a hand? No, no, everything's under control. Good. Well, in that case, I'll just sit down and finish my book. I'm sorry, Katrina. 
I didn't really mean it. Oh, I'm sorry, too. I behaved like an idiot. I'll see you later. I'm sorry about all this, Mother. Don't apologize to me. And don't worry about quarreling. You're bound to do a fair bit of arguing in the beginning. It's only natural until you get used to living together. God, what a fuss! They call it weighted bliss. Your mother's quite a wise woman, you know. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Must admit, neither did I. Reminded me of our early days, you know. What? A train in Alexander? Hmm. We've raised the roof a few times. <laughs> yes, we have, haven't we? Oh. The only difference was, I never went home to Mother. Ah, but you were too proud. <sighs> yes, I was. Wasn't I? <laughs> well, I think it's a nice wee blouse. A bit bright. Oh, wee. Well, Jesse, what's, it? what's that guy doing here? Eh? Is that a post office man? I'll come through to Glasgow as soon as we get back from the Glen. Oh, you'll have a great time up there. No to ski to your heart's content without me to distract you. Oh, where's that other sock? But I could have taught you to ski. Oh, you'd have a job there. Probably break my leg in the way to the ski lift. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the shortbread I promised you, Maggie. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Fraser. Mum will be delighted. Oh, I'm taking some for your granny, too. We'll pop in and see her on New Year's Eve. Oh, give her a hug from me, will you? I will do. <laughs> mm. I suppose you can't get everything in. Oh, I've still got my lovely Christmas presents to take back as well. You did bring rather a lot with you. Should have balanced out. Mrs. Fraser, my luggage would never balance out. <laughs> I suppose not. I'll get you another bag. Oh, thanks. Mother's very fond of you, you know. Yeah, so you keep telling me. feels if they've just been pulled out their sockets. Is there anything the matter? We tried to phone you, but you'd already left. Why, what is it? It's your gran. Maggie, she knows the kings are friends. Maggie, the clients to dance, she will work in a factory. She's inclined academically and so forth. It's so Maggie will be a teenage bride. Maggie against the tide, she accepts the adversity. She always knew she could to attend university and so forth. It's so Maggie, so far, so far, so good. So far, so 